Ringside or Riot, where running your mouth on Twitter doesn't get you squashed by Ryback, it gets you washed by Ryback. La 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 Running your mouth on Twitter also gets you a very patriotic job as the assistant to the newly appointed senator. So I was pretty grouchy and angry last episode when it came to wrestling as a whole. I feel a little bit better. I don't know, maybe it was my cycle. This just in. DJ Polly D said he is a proud member of the C Nation, that he can't wait for Chris Jericho and Piper's Pit. And he can't wait for Big Show to get some payback from last week. TS5 said, Get the f out of my house, mother Nobody wants you here. Is this for real right now? Also, your hair looks absolutely ridiculous right now, bro. Come on. I can't be the first one of your friends to ever tell you that. You need to take a real serious look at yourself. I haven't seen a blowout that bad since the last time I was at a Red Sox game. Piper's Pit is always interesting because it brings out the best in those that manage to be a part of it. Despite being kind of, uh, limited by whatever's limiting them, Miz, Ziggler, and even Chris Jericho were part of Raw's best segment this week. Then there's this whole cluster of really who knows what's going on, and this girl comes down to the ring and skips around it in circles, so it's kind of as interesting as watching a pre-K class pick each other's noses, but I'm just being overly cynical. Right? TNA on the heels of AJ Styles took a major leap for me on Sunday. I have a gut feeling that at the end of the month, Hardcore Justice will have been much better than SummerSlam. This just goes to show that no matter if you're trapped in a miserable situation, you can best everyone and prove how good you are. Here he comes to save the day! Earl Hebner has finally made up for any wrongdoing from the original Screwjob as far as I'm concerned. He stood strong after a great match, made the right decision. Austin Aries is still the correct and rightful World Heavyweight Champion. All is well in the world. Oh, nice molded grabby hand you got going on there. Oh, so Caitlyn's on TV now, huh? I probably would have really liked that eight months ago, but right now I guess my feelings have faded. Ooh, baby, baby, where did our love go? Ooh, don't you want me? Ooh, don't you want me no more? Ooh. CM Punk seemed to really strike a nerve with Kurt Angle after making a smack talk joke about his company, and kind of rightfully so. For a long time, I've been a big advocate of not comparing WWE to TNA, but after all the junk being churned out week after week on one show, and the slow, steady ascent into good wrestling on the other, I can't help it. Let's put a little fire underneath this. Challenge yourself to get out of your self-imposed comfort zone and watch a little bit of wrestling that you're not used to. After all, one show is a little shorter than the other. Or, you know, just keep being a sheep. Goat face is already taken, but sheep face isn't. Go ahead, wake up, look at yourself in the mirror every day, and know that people count you when they go to sleep. Bat. Bat. Are you still watching my show right now, sheep face? Ringside Ride is brought to you by the Jax TNA Deluxe Impact Series 8, coming soon to WrestlingFigures.com, and featuring Rob Van Dam, AJ Styles, Matt Morgan, Joker Sting, and Hulk Hogan. Let's put a smile on that face. Hey y'all. I'm here at, at the 2012 Olympics. They just finished swimming, so that was pretty cool. I got to eat a sandwich while it was happening. See you next time. Hey everybody. Still at the Olympics in 2012. I just saw this girl mess up the gymnastics. And she made a face, so that was pretty funny. From London, I'll see you next time. Hey, WWE Universe. For some reason, I'm in Thailand right now. It's on top of a mountain, 
and someone told me there'd be an event here, so I'm just waiting for it to start. There's no popcorn here, though. May maybe some other kind of snacks available. Okay, see you later. Hey, everyone. Looks like I got on the wrong rover, so right now I'm on Mars. It's kind of high here, but the beaches are nice. I think that's water. They should be giving out the gold medal soon, so it's probably the end of my trip. But I just wanted to say I'll see you sooner than you think. Fan figure frenzy! This is Mia Garcia. Fan figure frenzy! Wrestling figs? You're wondering what my favorite action figure? You wonder, is it one of these people? Sadly, no. He is the showstopper. He is the icon. The heartbreak. Shawn Michaels. To first start off, he has a WrestleMania logo right there, a button that plays his music, and you can adjust it off, on, or longer. Sean here has a nice head scan, long hair in the back, a removable outfit. Here's what he looks like with his outfit on. He has a nice painted tattoo that looks exactly the same, some glove hearts and pants, some gray and black boots, and in the back says a heartbreak kit. Here he is, and this is my fan figure frenzy. Fan figure frenzy! After an evening of verbal sparring and worrisome tension, Brock Lesnar finally decides to act on his threats towards Shawn Michaels. HBK is dragged away from his rental car violently as Triple H begs the question on everyone's mind. Where is he? Where's Sean? Where's Sean? In fact, Sean was in the middle of the ring, being sacrificed by the beast and made a raucous spectacle of. Hunter grieves over his fallen friend, but is ready for immediate conflict. Where the offense is, let the great axe fall. Turn out your car! Subscribe to this channel for future episodes, follow our Twitter account, like our Facebook page, and check out Ringside Collectibles at WrestlingFigures.com for the largest selection of wrestling figures anywhere in the universe.